the impulse, the urge to do something, to make a change, to do something differently. You know, your intuition is saying, do this thing, and you don't. You stay sitting on the couch or uh, in front of your computer or uh, whatever, and you don't take action. But you want to create change in your life. You know that. You want to create change. And that little voice in your head says something like, maybe you should go to the gym. You want to get in shape. Let's go to the gym. Let's go for a run. And you sit there and you think about it and up comes all these feelings of, wow, but it's really so comfortable on the couch and I don't know how I'll look in my gym clothes. I might be embarrassed or what if I end up pulling a muscle? Any number of objections come up, right? Fears, objections, anxiety, stress, <laughs> worry. These things come up that um, and limiting beliefs, limiting beliefs come up. I can't do it. I'm not good enough. I'm going to look lousy. Um, anything like this comes up and it stops you from taking action. The thing is that it's important to take action right in that moment. And look, I'm at fault of this as much of any, as anyone else. There are days when I tell myself I'm going to get up early in the morning and I'm going to go for a bike ride and I lie in bed and the thought comes into my head. You should go for that bike ride. Go for a bike ride, Nina. It's good for you. You'll feel better. You'll get your exercise out of the way first thing in the morning. And I take a deep breath and I think, yeah, but it's so nice and comfortable here in my bed. And I don't do it. Can you relate? So here's the thing. Lack of action doesn't create any change at all in your life. None. <clears throat> None whatsoever. In fact, it's a good way to stay the same, to, to just keep everything status quo. Your intuitive hits, however, are telling you how to change. They're telling you how to be the person you know you can be and that you want to be. And if you ignore them, nothing changes. Those intuitive hits, those gut instincts, those urges, they're telling you to do something different. They're urging you to take action. And when you don't, nothing happens, obviously. But here's the thing. <coughs> Excuse me. If you don't take action on your thoughts within five seconds, nothing will ever happen because your mind squashes the idea. According to Mel Robbins, the author of The Five Second Rule, which is not about picking food up off the floor after you drop it within five seconds and eating it, what she says is that if you do not act on these intuitive hits, these, these urges to do something different, to change, that your mind squashes that idea and it's gone, gone, and you'll just stay the same. So the idea is to, to, to actually not stop to think, to just act. When it's something like that, like get up and go to the gym, take a break from your computer, these are intuitive knowledge that's coming to you that you need to act on within five seconds. So according to Robbins, you have to launch yourself into action to get anything done. So you can't wait for motivation. You can't wait for inspiration. You can't wait for the right time, enough money, the right place, the kids moving out of the house, retirement or anything else. The only way to create change or results to achieve your dreams, to become the person you know you can be, is to do what you don't feel like doing because you're probably not going to feel like doing it anymore in five minutes or ten minutes or an hour or tomorrow. I can tell you that when I wake up in the morning, I don't feel any more like riding a bike than I would at any other time. And I'm not going to feel any more like it tomorrow. So I have to actually get up and get my cycling clothes on and get on the bike. So. The way Robbins defines this five second rule is that if you have an impulse to change something, you have to actually physically move within five seconds of, or your brain will kill the idea. Physically move within five seconds of having that impulse or your brain kills that idea altogether. So what impulses have you wanted to act on? 
what change or idea or goal has popped into your head that you haven't done anything about. You need to apply the five second rule. So how do you do that? First, recognize those gut instincts, those intuitive hits to make a change. What's your higher self trying to tell you to do? Is it telling you to eat a more healthy diet? To actually not eat that ice cream tonight? To close the freezer door? Is it telling you to get a glass of water because you don't drink enough and you know you need to drink more? Is it telling you to walk the dog? Is it telling you to go to the gym? Is it telling you to call that specific person? Is it telling you to, to say something honestly to someone that you haven't said it to before? What, to tell your truth. What are those intuitive hits? When you get them, when you become conscious of them, the second thing that Robin says to do is to count. Five, four, three, two, one. Act. Okay? So you recognize your gut instinct, your intuition to make a change, and then what you do is you, you count backwards and then take action. She explains that when you focus on this counting backwards, five, four, three, two, one, that you actually, um, are, when you're, you're doing so, you focus on, uh, on the goal or commitment and that distracts you from the worry part of it, the thoughts and excuses and limiting beliefs. So your counting focuses you on what you want to change, what you want to change, the goal you want to achieve. So if you want different results in your life, if you want change, if you want to accomplish something different, then try this. Become conscious of when you have those thoughts, when you feel those, have those thoughts or you have that intuitive urge to do something that you know is for your own good. Remind yourself it's never going to feel any better at any other time. So count backwards, five, four, three, two, one, and then do something. And the counting five, four, three, two, one takes your mind off of all the reasons why you shouldn't do this. It doesn't allow your mind to squash your, your idea, your thought, your impulse, and it gets you up and taking action. So try that today and go out and get a copy of, of Mel's book, Mel Robbins. Uh, the five second rule, transform your life, work and conference and everyday courage. I highly recommend it. And if nothing else, just try what I said. It doesn't, it's not mine. It's actually Mel's. It's Robbins came up, Mel Robbins came up with this five second rule. I'm just, I just liked it so much. I wanted to share it with you. So go get her book, the five second rule, or at least try putting this to use. Get conscious of those intuitive urges, those intuitive messages to do something and then count five, four, three, two, one, act. And let me know in a comment down below how it works for you. I'd love to know how it works for you. I'm gonna be using it too, and I'm gonna be seeing how it works in my life. I've been trying it for the last day or two, and I love it. It works wonders. So I wanna hear from you. Let me know in a comment down below what you think of the five second rule and whether you've tried it and what it's doing for you, okay? I'm Nina Amir, I'm the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I'm a certified high performance coach. I'm always looking for little tips and tricks to teach you and to employ in my life and with my clients to help them become high performers, to help them get from where they are to where they want to go. This was just one of them. If I can help you step into your best self, live your life fully, achieve your potential, please contact me. Go on over to ninaamir.com, my website, and click on High Performance Coaching and you'll see that there's a way for you to download an application for a free one hour strategy session. One hour of you and me looking to see how clear you are, how courageous you are, how energetic you are, how productive you are, how influential you are. We'll figure out where, what you need to do to get to the next level. If that's of interest to you, as I said, download the application. Just go on over to ninaamir.com. Uh, and click on High Performance Coaching or go to ninamir.com forward slash free session. You'll see the link at the end of the video. Download the application, send it to me. Let's schedule our one hour strategy session free. Just me serving you. That is it for today. I hope this inspired you to take some new action towards change so that you can become the person you know you're meant to be. I'm Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation Coach. Until next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results.